Hi everyone! In this tutorial, I'll show you how to make a volume that sets a camera mode on overlap and then sets back to the third person camera on end overlap. So here you have one um, under, under there. So it's useful for tight spaces, also useful for if you want a, a top view, and also useful for setting a specific camera mode like uh, aim down sights automatically. So I have a volume near the aim assist here that will automatically switch the aim, uh, aim down sights camera mode whenever it, it's entered. So in the editor, your camera volumes will just look like regular volumes and they will have a camera mode associated with them. So here's one volume, the other one is under here, and the top down one is over there. We'll be using the firing range map. To get to that map, navigate to the plugins, shooter map content, and then it's under maps and firing range. You'll see nothing. Uh, so just open up your wall partition and just load all these cells. It may take a little bit of time, but once it's loaded, you'll see that it has a lot of the Lyra example content. And it's actually a really good map just to see everything that Lara has to offer. To be able to more peacefully test things, let's go under world settings. And then in the default game experience, let's choose the shoot uh, B test inventory experience. This experience doesn't have any bots, so you'll be able to just play and enjoy it at your own leisure. The first camera mode that we want to test with will be the aim down sights, which is basically the right click. So what we want to do is create a volume that when you enter it, it automatically activates the aim down sights mode. So let's create our volume. So stop the simulation and then under tools, let's create a new C++ class. Go ahead and go navigate to all classes. And then it's just the volume. And let's call it camera mode volume and make sure to choose Lyra game and let's put it under camera folder. This new class will be quite simple. So first let's just add a reference to a subclass of the Lyra camera mode so that we can actually set our camera mode that we want to um, activate or add to the camera stack. So I'll just do this. Okay, so T subclass of U Lyra camera mode. And I really love Resharper for this. It will just tell me to include. Uh, I'll just do a for declaration. Okay. And I'll call this one just camera mode. Okay. And then let's overwrite the on actor begin overlap and end overlap. So to do so in writer, it's alt insert and then O for overwriting members. And then let's search for over or notify actor begin overlap. And let's just choose those two. And okay, there you go. Um, and then let's just generate definitions. Let's not put anything in here yet because we don't actually have the functionality yet. The functionality we're adding is actually very similar to the ability camera modes. So your abilities have uh, have a, a possibility or they have functionality to enable or add camera modes um, and remove them. And then it just defaults back to the original camera mode. Uh, so let's let's take an example of that. And it's actually the logic is inside hero component. Let's navigate to the header and let's search for camera mode. Ah, there you go. All right, so uh, let's basically copy pretty much anything that has to do with the ability camera mode. Uh, so, but let's call it volume camera mode. So volume and then camera mode set uh, by a volume or camera mode set when walking in a volume. 
in a camera mode volume. Then we also need to, uh, let, let, let's search for all the usages of the ability camera mode. Uh, so they have set ability camera mode and clear ability camera mode. So we'll also copy those ones. So just select those and paste. And then uh, it's basically, you, you just change it to uh, volume camera mode, volume camera mode, and Let's just generate. Okay, and then you can basically just copy paste this. So it's it's very nice that Lara has so many examples, and you you can mix and match anything to achieve what you what you need for your game. Okay, and then just replace ability with volume. I forget what the shortcut is for find and replace. Uh, oh, also we won't need the owning spec handle uh, because this the volume one isn't really tied to any ability. So you can also get rid of the uh, clear volume camera mode spec handle. Okay. So this one, this one you just need clear. Just need to clear it. Okay, let's navigate, get rid of this parameter, and yeah, we should be set for this code. Uh, but let's let's see what else the ability camera mode is used, where else it's used. Ah, determine camera mode. So this is where it chooses which camera mode to choose. So if there's an ability that set a camera mode, it will return that one. If not, it returns the default camera mode, which is usually just the third person camera. Uh, or in the case of like the arena one, it's the top-down camera. So let's set it right ahead of the ability camera mode. So it is on top of the stack. You could put it underneath. Let's say if you're aiming with the right click, would you prefer to, to use the camera mode of the volume or of the ability? So this one, I'll just replace volume, volume. All right, now we uh, just need to call the set and the clear for the volume camera mode inside the volume itself. Navigate back to your camera mode volume. And now in the notify actor begin overlap, we'll make sure that the volume is actually set. So camera, uh, the mode. So if the camera mode is not valid, return. You'll see uh, I'm just missing the include for the camera mode. So I'll click this. I'll show all the details for whoever's not using writer. Uh, yeah, so after this, there's actually a nice static getter for finding the hero component if you have the pawn. So first, let's get the pawn. From the actor that overlapped us. So if the if there's no pawn, then just return. So something else uh, overlapped it. Um, could be some beagle or whatever else you have in your game. Um, yeah. So to get the hero component, it's it's the Lyra hero component. Let me just include this hero component, and then the function. The static function is actually just find hero component, which is pretty nice. So I, I gave it a pawn and it will give me the hero component. And then let's just go ahead and call to set our volume or camera volume. So hero component set volume camera mode and then camera mode. I actually forgot to remove the owning spec handle from the set volume camera mode. So let's go ahead and do that. the issue of copying code <laughs> so now if we go back to our camera mode volume it should be all right now let's go ahead and move our, our super call to the top and then for the notify actor and overlap we pretty much need the same uh, code 
except we're going to call clear volume camera mode. So let's go ahead and do that. So instead of set volume camera mode, you can just call clear volume camera mode. All right, now we should be set to uh, be able to just add a volume to the scene and set the camera mode we want it to change to. Back in the editor, let's just type control alt F11. So it will live, it will do live coding. All right, let's now add our volume to our scene. So if you don't have the place actor panel open, I'll just show you. Uh, you can just go to quickly add to the project and then click on place actors panel. And then let's search for a volume. I think you can just go, yeah, if you just click on volumes, uh, you should be able to see our new volume, which is just called camera volume, camera mode volume. So let's drag that in. And let's make it so whenever you're in this area, it will change the camera mode to the aim down sights automatically without you having to uh, press the right click. So let's make it a bit taller. All right, that looks good. Let's save. Uh, and then under the details panel, you'll find your camera mode. And here, let's just choose third person aim down sights save and then let's play and see if it works oh wow okay yeah it, it worked i spawned in it so when you walk into it it activates when you walk out of it 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 uh, deactivates and goes back to the third person mode so if if this is the only volume or the only use of the volume you want then it's pretty much it for the uh video uh but if you're interested in knowing more about um, create, creating a camera mode and utilizing the volumes location, then keep watching. Let's create a camera mode class for, um, j that just holds the information about the volume. So navigate to tools, new C++ class, all classes, then camera mode. And it's under the Lara camera mode. Next. Uh, choose Lara game and let's navigate to the camera and then this one we'll just call it camera mode underscore volume so this one will be the parent class for any class we create uh, or any volume we create that would use this volume information so go ahead and click on create class and we'll create another class from that class. And that one will be for volumes that just uh, where, where the camera will just be static and cover a certain area, kind of like what top down area arena does. So this class will be just abstract and not not even blueprintable. This will just be the parent class. And all it'll do is set of set and keep a volume. So first, let's just create our property for the volume. And I use transient because uh, the physics volume also uses transient. And I googled it and it's just anything that's not serializable and don't need to save. Um, and in this case, yeah, we, we don't need to save it at all. Uh, because it, it just happens during runtime. It's just when you go in the volume and you leave it. Um, yeah, it doesn't doesn't need to be serialized. So let's go ahead and import the camera modifier volume, uh, which is actually called camera mode volume. All right. And let's just add it as a forward declaration. And let's add a function for setting the volume. The camera mode volume volume all right and then this one will just set the volume to the volume so no, nothing too complicated Whoop. okay and then for actual volume that will be blueprintable uh, let's let's take example from the arena so let me actually go ahead and show you the arena so go under plugins top down arena content 
and then maps, tap down Arena Gym. So this one uh, uses the tap down Arena experience, which actually uses a tap down Arena um, camera mode. So let's go ahead and play. So when you play, the camera is static. It doesn't move at all. Uh, so we'll, we'll actually use this for our purposes. So let's, let's go ahead and create a new class and borrow heavily from the top-down arena camera mode. Let's go ahead and stop this and then navigate to tools, new C++ class, all classes, and then the class we just created. So it's the camera mode underscore volume. And this one, we'll also put it in the camera folder. And let's call this one camera mode underscore volume static because the camera will just not be moving, but it will be facing towards where your volume is. Let's go ahead and create this class. Let's also find the camera mode for the top down arena. So under the top down arena content, cm underscore for camera mode. It's actually called the arena framing camera. This is the one we'll take inspiration from for our new camera mode. Uh, so let's just go ahead and click this to open it. All right, and then let's have them side by side. Uh, so I'll just put the top down camera arena to the right in its uh, C++ file and then the camera volume static at the left. Um, yeah, so um, let's just make sure this one can also be abstract. We won't be using it anywhere as a C++ class itself. It'll just be a blueprint subclass. Um, so, and then let's just copy everything over and let's just rename some things. So select all this. Um, yeah, there we go, and then let's replace this one with that. Okay, and then let's do the same for the C++ file. So just copy all over, and we'll just replace all the um, class references. Here we go, and here we go. The only modification we want to make uh, for the static volume is basically we want to set the location and rotation to take into account the volume. So let's add some code that just checks if, if there's a volume uh, to change the rotation and the location accordingly. So if the volume, which is from the parent class, if, if the volume is valid, uh, then let's change the pivot rotation. So the only difference is actually the yaw. So get actor rotation dot yaw plus 180. Um, or you, you can omit the 180 if your volume is facing away from the camera. And then the roll will be zero. So we actually need to include the definition of camera mode volume here. So we'll add it here. And then our pivot location needs to be the volumes location. Plus the off offsets we have over here. So get actor location or minus. Uh, let's just copy. Um, let's just copy it from here. So minus this here. And so now um, it should update the view accordingly. The next problem is there's no parameter or specific constructor for the camera mode. Um, so we need to keep track of which uh, camera mode volume our player is in currently. Uh, so let's let's add that information into the Lyra camera component. So let's navigate to Lyra, oh, Lyra camera component. Then let's navigate to the header file. And then under the camera mode stack, 
So right here, let's add another U property. And this one will be uh, a weak object pointer to our camera volume. And let's just call it camera volume. Let's add it as a forward declaration. So right here. And then we need to add a getter, a setter, and a way to clear the camera volume. So let's add that logic under the get target actor. So a camera mode volume, get current camera volume. Oh, void set camera volume. and clear camera volume. Okay, and then let's generate a body for these functions. So this one just gets the camera volume. So let's just return the camera volume. Get. Okay, and then set camera volume just sets it. Camera mode volume. And then clear camera volume just sets it to null. Let's close out a few tabs and let's navigate back to our camera mode volume and actually set the camera volume in the actor begin overlap and clear it on the end overlap. Right, so the camera component also has a nice static uh, getter. Um, so let's just add the functionality. So if Lara camera component camera component equals you Lara camera component find camera component from the pawn. And then let's just call camera component set camera volume to this. And then let's do the same for the uh, end overlap, but this time let's just clear the camera mode, uh, the camera volume. So clear camera volume. The last piece of code we need to do is basically the camera mode doesn't know which volume was triggered. So when the camera mode is created, uh, we, we need to intercept it and to set the camera, uh, to set the volume to the current camera volume. Let's navigate to where the camera mode is actually created. So that's actually in the camera mode stack. So let's navigate to Lara camera mode stack. And then it's under the push camera mode. And then you can see exactly where the Lara camera mode is created. Uh, right here. So right before, uh, right after it, let's actually set the volume if it's a camera mode underscore volume. Let's include this. So this will include it way at the top. It will add it right here oh right here camera mode underscore volume okay so volume camera mode equals cast u camera mode underscore volume camera mode so if the new camera mode to push onto the stack is uh, ha has the parent class volume, um, then you need to get the current volume that the pawn is in. 
get my uh, camera component, get current camera volume. And then you just need to set uh, the volume. Camera mode, set the volume. And that's it. I just decided to rename my variables to follow the Unreal styling guide. Let's go back to the editor and recompile all our changes. So back at the editor, control alt F 11. Okay. Once that's done, let's navigate back to the gym. So you can go into your recent le levels and then the firing range WP. And I do recommend, um, just building back from source after all these changes because you might have some uh, errors like this. So let's uh, just go ahead and stop and recompile. Back again in the editor. So let's navigate to the recent level, firing range, and things should be okay now. All right, let's create some new volumes and new camera modes. So let me just duplicate this volume. And I'll create a volume so that uh, whenever you're in this area, the camera will stay fixed like this. Let me just make this bigger. And there you go. Okay. Um, and then under the details, uh, let's navigate to third person aim down sights. Uh, that's what, that one's actually under the shooter core content. Uh, so let's let's actually make a new folder in the content um, folder and let's just call this one camera or camera modifiers no, I'll just keep it camera okay, and let's let's navigate to the uh, the one from the arena so CM underscore arena framing camera just for examples of good values okay let's drag this in and then I will just create a new camera modifier under the cameras. So new blueprint class, all classes, underscore volume, static. Ah, okay, so the camera mode underscore volume static is the class we just created. Uh, select this one. Let's call this one CM tight spaces or yeah. Okay. Let's open it up and then it will have very similar settings. Uh, we can actually set a different angle because 66 is minus 66 is pretty, uh, like it's facing really down. So let's say like minus 20 degrees and then the, those settings are probably pretty good. Yeah, but yeah, in, in the future, you can use more than just the uh, volumes location in your uh, camera mode, but we'll keep it simple for this, for the sake of this tutorial. Uh, I'll copy this also, and I actually do want to ease in and ease out. It's, it's very nice that all this functionality is already here. Um, and then the field of view. Yeah, that's uh, all the same. Okay, and then let's apply this tight spaces camera modifier to our volume. So you can go ahead and choose it right here. So tight spaces, compile, save. I'll actually make another one for this area also. Um, so that one, I'll, I'll just duplicate this one. Duplicate, and this one will be facing downwards. Uh, so if you have like a top-down game, or a game that has areas that are top down. So top down, tight spaces. And this one, I'll actually make it face completely uh, 90 degrees down. So minus 90 degrees, compile, save. And then let's just duplicate this one. Um, so we, we haven't handled any stacking. So if they do overlap, it might lead to some issues. Um, but yeah, this size should be good. And then this one will just be referencing top-down tight spaces. 
Yeah, so now it should be all right. Let's test. All right. So when you go in this uh, area, the camera goes up 90 degrees. When you leave it, it lurps nicely. And then when you enter this area, oh, <laughs> this one is not facing the right way at all. So I, I might have rotated the wrong way. So let's stop and let's see where our bounds is facing. Um, okay. So, ah, as you can see, uh, it's facing towards that way. Uh, so I'll just rotate it because I set it up so that wherever it faces, the camera will look the other way. So let's just make this bigger. Um, yeah, this looks nice. This a bit thinner. And let's play again. And this time let's play from the current camera location. All right, let's see. Oh, that was wrong. So after a little debugging, I found that I used the wrong rotation for the pivot location calculation. So go ahead and navigate to camera volume, volume static and then replace this one with the new pivot rotation and then recompile it you, you should be good to go just make sure that your volumes uh x facing in the local gizmo so local x -y is actually facing towards where you you want your camera to be um or the opposite of uh, and then yeah let's try to play this level see if it's all good now yeah, so now it's okay. It's at minus 20. I actually think it's it's not showing enough, so I will just ad adjust that. Let's stop this. And then under the tight spaces, uh, let's actually make it less steep. So minus 10 degrees. All right. Yeah, that looks much better. All right, so th this is actually really good for, let's say, like platformers. Oh, I guess I, <laughs> I entered that volume. Um, but like shooter, you'll you'll need to have your abilities take into account that you have a different view mode because right now it just shoots to the center of the screen, which isn't really what you want. Um, so I've made sure that my pawn will not overlap two volumes at the same time so just make sure that they're spread apart enough now let's play now you have this camera mode when you enter this volume when you leave it goes back to third person and then when you open the other volume it goes to the top down view so yeah there you have it the first steps of uh, making camera mode volumes um, very basic uh, so yeah you to extend this you could have cameras that follow your your character but stay at the same location like they they just rotate um, or you you could also have uh, functionality for for them stacking so you don't get the issue we just had right there um, yeah so yeah I hope this is useful uh, mostly for platformers The aim assist is still working, so the, even if you have a very specific camera mode that doesn't have to rely on its volume, you could still use this volume. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed, and happy dev days!